Welcome to Flipping Tables, where we bring all of our religious thinking to Jesus who flips the table for his upside down kingdom. I'm Julie Sexton, and I'll be your host. Hey friends, I want to let you know that we are going to take a couple of weeks off from releasing new episodes. No worries, we will be back soon. We're just taking a few weeks off from releasing new episodes so that we can dedicate more time into developing our fall podcast series. I am really excited about the fall series. I'm going to go back to a book of the Bible that means so much to me. When I say that I fell hard for the book of Philippians in the summer of 2004, I mean it. In fact, I set out to memorize Philippians, and I didn't quite finish my goal, So 20 years later, I'm going to go back to finish the good work that God started that summer and finish memorizing Philippians. As I've gotten to know Jesus as the table flipper, I've never stopped loving this little letter that Paul wrote to this beloved church that he planted. And do you know what? Paul, he didn't even mean to go to Philippi. In Acts 16, in the middle of the night, the Holy Spirit gave Paul a vision of a man in Macedonia begging Paul to come and help them. And friends, the rest is history. Do you want to know the table-flipping part of the story that I have only recently learned? I knew that this church that Paul planted was probably planted in the home of a woman named Lydia. And many scholars believe that that church was as small as maybe only 30 people. And this little church it has been personified by having a whole lot of joy and generosity. And here's the table flipping part. It was probably made up mostly of women. So if you think or have ever been taught that Paul had a mission to silence women in the early church, I want to invite you back to the table to do a deep dive into Philippians with us this fall. We're going to study about the women who led there. We do still have more episodes coming in the Water with Lemon series. And one of those conversations is going to be with a group that Twyla actually had a dream about us having a conversation with. For almost a year, I've had a post-it note reminding me to invite them to the table. We are excited that we get to bring you this episode very soon. The last thing I want to tell you is, recently I had a conversation with Matt Davis from the Jewish Road podcast. The aim of the Jewish Road podcast is to help Christians make sense of their roots so they can help Jews make sense of Jesus. I'm going to link an episode in the show notes to the Jewish Road podcast. And I hope that you will take a few minutes and listen to this episode and perhaps subscribe to The Jewish Road to hear more of the great content that Matt and his dad are releasing. Flipping Tables will be back with new episodes starting September 10th. Until then, keep following the table flipper and leave the table flipping to Jesus. Jesus.